Happy New Year! It's 2024. It's time for something different. <laughs> If you are new to this channel, you're going to fit right in because I am basically starting from scratch. Um, I have been on this channel for so many years and I have lots of content, but it's always just been kind of, I don't know, missing something. And so I've decided that what I feel it was missing was me. I felt like a lot of the stuff that I was doing was for me fun, but... <clears throat> It really didn't have a purpose and so I've got a purpose moving forward I don't know if this will be successful or not but I feel really good about what I want to do moving forward so um, some things will seem you know pr pretty similar but I'm going to be switching to more of a vlogging format um, so um, I'm always going to be talking about like books and writing because that's so much a part of who I am but I'm also going to be um, working on improving myself in, you know, in a bunch of different ways. My kind of mantra for the year 2024 and perhaps moving forward will be that I am a whip. I am a work in progress. And so that is going to be the theme. Um, I'm going to be doing um, reading vlogs, you know, talking about my journey with reading and hopefully inspiring other people to read. I think a lot of people don't either don't read much or don't read at all because they feel like it's some kind of a chore. I think a lot of people take their literacy for granted and I'm hoping to use myself as an example of how, you know, using reading can be beneficial to your overall just like mental, physical health and all that kind of stuff. And so it can be very um, entertaining as well. Um, so anyway, I'm always going to be talking, like I said, about like books and reading. I'm going to be doing writing blogs where you'll actually see me, um, in my creative process. I'm hoping that blogging about what I'm writing, um, and showing it, you know, it'll motivate me to um, be more consistent with it. Um, I'm going to be doing some lifestyle blogs, but I don't want to mislead you into thinking that I'm going to be like doing like home decor and things like that. No, um, but um, I am going to be making an effort to do like social outings and things like that from time to time and share those experiences here. Um, for some of you who've been around for a while know that I've struggled with like some health issues over the years. And so I have this completely new, basically, diet um not like a fad diet but like my regular like diet and um, most of my food i have to make it from scratch now it's and it's been very much a part of one of the reasons why things have been kind of a struggle for me and i'm feeling like i'm getting a handle on it and so i'm gonna be sharing some of what i'm doing in the kitchen and um to help me like thrive day to day i um am you know i'm always gonna be kind of you know giving tidbits and stuff that you know based on like geek culture and pop culture and stuff like that because that's part of who I am so that's not gonna go away but everything is gonna be very much more like it is now as you notice I don't have my green screen up I will be pulling it out from time to time for special occasions like in the spring I will be doing um I, 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 I have to look back at my own schedule but like I have a read local show and a read all over show and for those I'm definitely going to be using the green screen for those um, whenever I do like events and stuff like that I'll probably do that but I'm going to be very candid um, and I'm hoping that just being taking the pressure off of myself to make this be something as opposed to just being what it is um, well, hopefully um, if, if it doesn't appeal to anyone else it'll at least give me peace of mind so reading blogs, writing blogs, cooking blogs, lifestyle blogs, and um, I'm hoping to just better myself. I am a work in progress and I'm excited about the p possibilities for what's ahead. Um, pretty much everything that I'm going to be sharing on this channel, I will be sharing first with my Patreon community. They'll be getting early access um, 
and then um, they'll also be getting some exclusive content there but I am like I said shifting gears so if you've been around for a while and this new approach isn't what you're looking for I'll understand but maybe you know stick around and just check and see if you like some of the content that I'll be you know putting out and um, hopefully new people will um, kind of be drawn to this I'm hoping to be a little bit more conversational love to like hear what you guys have to say about different things um there may be opportunities for me to add like other programming content but for now i'm going to be focusing on these vlogs because that's where i am right now in 2024 i am a work in progress and that's what i'm going to be focusing on this channel so this first month of january will probably a little bit wonky while i'm getting my um, posting schedule figured out but I'm hoping that by February there'll be some consistency so I'm gonna be doing like my regular vlog plus maybe doing like some shorts here and there figuring out what I'm gonna be doing on social media and stuff like that but keeping everything very kind of low-key and very candid taking like I said the pressure off of me to make this be something that it's not it just it is what it is and um, I'm very excited um, to have been on this channel for as long as I have but now I'm ready if I'm not going to be growing the channel which I hope I do but if I'm not I at least want to be growing myself and so that is what we have to look forward to hopefully in 2021 so just to kind of give you um, a little bit more of a, an insight I, I am setting some goals I don't usually do what people call like traditional like resolutions but I did want to share what these goals are uh, I'll be giving probably updates on like the specifics of these goals on on a, one of my other social media platforms of course i'll you know share here too but i'm going to be setting specific like reading goals i'm not going to be doing the goodreads reading challenge so you won't see those videos anymore um like i said i'm still going to be sharing like books and reviews and things like that but everything's going to be looking a little bit different um, my goal this year um each month i want to read something novel length i want to um, read something visual which means that could be a graphic novel or it could be a picture book I don't you know I mean I love visual art and I feel like I just haven't given it enough love lately and I want to do that um, <clears throat> so those those will be my reading aspirations um, as far as my writing aspirations this is probably going to be the toughest thing for me um, I want to do at least 4k words a month and again i know there's other writers out there who are like chick that's your that's your goal like that might be a joke for you but for me finding the time to write has been such a struggle you know especially dealing with you know my health issues and things like that so that is my goal is to try to do 4k words a month um in terms of writing in terms of health um i'm still trying to figure things out um like i said i've gotten a handle on my diet as far as what I can and can't eat that kind of thing but it it's it's tough when you have to pretty much prepare all of your meals all of your breakfast lunch dinner snacks things like that it it's tough um I'll even you know be talking about some of the things that I can eat that I'm not making myself but you know what goes into that anyway um so in terms of health I don't I, I don't you know know like all the scientific terms so like this I'm gonna keep it very simple I am gonna be trying to lose some weight but not um, in the in the sense that you know I, I got to get down to like a size whatever um, I'm gonna keep it like I said again very kind of low-key I'm gonna be aiming for three to four pounds a month or um, half an inch to an inch I don't know like this is like I'm, I'm keeping it very like I'm gonna know what my starting point is and I'm gonna see where I am later on down the road but each month you know if I'm seeing you know two or three pounds um, re reduction I'm gonna count that as a win if I'm seeing a half an inch you know you know decrease somewhere that's something um, so anyway that's gonna be my health goal and then I do have a social goal as well I um, have you know an anxiety diagnosis a PTSD diagnosis and I work in a stressful um, I guess industry um, you know mental health care field I love what I do but you know there's a lot of um, you know things that can kind of get to you so in terms of 
um, that social aspect, I do want to try to do some kind of social outing once a month, which again, I know that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but I am the kind of person who will um, do a Comic Con one month and then not leave my house for the next three months. So I want to try to avoid that, even if it's just me going out to like a coffee shop with a friend or going to a library or something. I want to do something social um, once a month. And then um, I also do want to do an act of kindness. I feel like I am a kind person, like in general. I think people do acts of kindness all the time and they don't really um, acknowledge it because they seem small. But um, I am going to be trying to single out something significant um, each month to do. I don't really know what that's going to be yet, but those are kind of my goals um, for me um, moving forward, at least for the year 2024. And um, like I said, I'm just excited um, to see how things turn out. And um, I'm a work in progress and I appreciate you being here on this journey. I want you to have a wonderful year. It's a leap year, it's an election year. There's all kinds of craziness going on. But at the end of the day, I want you to be safe and I want you to be blessed. Hey, guess what? If you like what you see, you can totally subscribe to this channel. You could also give it a like and leave me a comment. I would totally love that. Okay, bye-bye.